You might be surprised if I told you that one of the most famous stars in our night sky, Betelgeuse, may have experienced an extreme cosmic collision with another companion star in the past. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, the Hunter. It is one of the brightest and largest stars we can see, with a diameter about 900 times that of our Sun. It is also one of the most intriguing and mysterious stars, as it exhibits some unusual features that puzzle astronomers. In this video, we will explore a new study that suggests that Betelgeuse may have consumed a smaller companion star in the past, and how that could explain some of its strange characteristics. We will also discuss what this means for Betelgeuse's future as a supernova, and how we can observe this fascinating star in the sky. So, stay tuned and get ready to learn more about Betelgeuse and its possible stellar merger. Betelgeuse is not alone in the universe. It is part of a binary system, which means that it has another star orbiting around it. This is very common in the galaxy, as most stars are born in pairs or groups. But what happens when two stars get too close to each other? Sometimes, they can collide and merge into one bigger star. This is called a merger, and it can have dramatic effects on both stars and their surroundings. But how do we know if Betelgeuse has undergone a merger with its companion star? Well, a new study by astronomers from Columbia University and the University of California, Berkeley, has used simulations to show how a merger could explain some of the unusual features of Betelgeuse. The study suggests that Betelgeuse may have swallowed a smaller star about 100,000 years ago, which is very recent in astronomical terms. The study points out some of the clues that support this idea, such as, Betelgeuse's rapid rotation means that it spins faster than expected for a star of its age and size. It rotates once every 8.4 years, which is about 150 times faster than the Sun. This could be because the merger transferred some angular momentum from the smaller star to Betelgeuse, making it spin faster. The second clue is Betelgeuse's asymmetric shape. Betelgeuse is not a perfect sphere, but rather an oblate spheroid which means that it is flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator. This could be because the merger distorted its shape due to the centrifugal force of its rotation. Another clue is that it's mass loss. Betelgeuse is losing mass at a very high rate, about one solar mass every 10,000 years. This could be because the merger triggered some instability in its core, causing it to eject some of its outer layers into space. A merger between two stars can have significant effects on their properties and evolution. For example, it can change the temperature, luminosity, and lifespan of a star. Let's see how this applies to Betelgeuse. The merger event can increase or decrease the temperature of a star depending on the mass ratio and the orbital parameters of the binary system. In the case of Betelgeuse, the study assumes that the smaller star was about 1.5 solar masses, and had an eccentric orbit around Betelgeuse. This means that the smaller star would have plunged into Betelgeuse's core at high speed, releasing a lot of energy and heating up Betelgeuse's core. As a result, Betelgeuse would have become hotter than expected for a red supergiant of its age. The event can also affect the luminosity of a star, which is the amount of energy it emits per unit time. A hotter core means that Betelgeuse would have increased its nuclear fusion rate, producing more energy and becoming brighter than expected for a red supergiant of its age. The merger can also alter the lifespan of a star, which is the time it takes for a star to exhaust its nuclear fuel and die. A hotter core and a higher fusion rate mean that Betelgeuse would have burned through its fuel faster than expected for a red supergiant of its age. This means that Betelgeuse would have shortened its lifespan by about 100,000 years, which is not much compared to its total lifetime of about 10 million years. Not only that, mergers can also influence the surrounding environment of a star, such as its stellar wind, its magnetic field, and its circumstellar dust. Let's see how this applies to Betelgeuse. It can enhance the stellar wind of a star, which is the stream of gas and plasma that flows outward from its surface. A stronger stellar wind means that Betelgeuse would have lost more mass and momentum to the interstellar medium, creating a shock wave and a bow shock around it. 
This could explain why Betelgeuse has a complex and asymmetric nebula around it, which is visible in infrared and radio wavelengths. It can also generate or amplify the magnetic field of a star, which is the force that interacts with charged particles and electromagnetic waves. A stronger magnetic field means that Betelgeuse would have more activity and variability on its surface, such as spots, flares, and cycles. This could explain why Betelgeuse has a variable brightness and spectrum, which are influenced by its magnetic activity. Finally, merger can also produce or increase the amount of circumstellar dust around a star, which is the solid material that forms from the condensation of gas in the stellar wind. More circumstellar dust means that Betelgeuse would have more obscuration and reddening of its light, as some of it would be absorbed or scattered by the dust particles. This could explain why Betelgeuse has a reddish color and a dimming trend, which are affected by its dust formation. Betelgeuse is one of the most studied and observed stars in the sky, not only because of its size and brightness, but also because of its potential to explode as a supernova, which can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief period of time, releasing more energy than the sun will in its entire lifetime. But when will Betelgeuse go supernova? And how will it affect us? Well, these are some of the questions that have been raised by some of the recent observations of Betelgeuse's brightness variations. In late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse underwent an unprecedented dimming event, where it lost more than half of its brightness in a matter of months. This sparked speculation that Betelgeuse might be nearing its end as a supernova, as some models predict that a star could dim before exploding. However, further observations and analyses have shown that this dimming event was likely caused by dust clouds and pulsations on Betelgeuse's surface, and not by any signs of an imminent collapse. In fact, it has recovered most of its brightness since then, and it is still shining brightly in the night sky. So how long does it have left before it explodes? Well, no one knows for sure, but most estimates suggest that it still has tens of thousands of years left before it reaches the end of its life. However, this does not mean that we should stop watching Betelgeuse, as it could surprise us at any moment. After all, Betelgeuse is a very unpredictable star, and it may have some secrets left to reveal. But what if Betelgeuse does go supernova? How will it affect us? Well, first of all, we don't have to worry about any harmful radiation or debris from the explosion reaching us, as Betelgeuse is too far away from us to pose any threat. It is about 700 light years away from Earth, which means that it takes 700 years for its light to reach us. This also means that if Betelgeuse does explode today, we won't see it until 700 years later. However, when we do see it, it will be quite a spectacle. Its supernova will be visible in the daytime for several months, and it will be brighter than the full moon at night for several years. It will also change the appearance of Orion's constellation forever, as one of its brightest stars will be gone. But it will also create something new and beautiful, a remnant of gas and dust that will expand and glow for centuries to come. This remnant could become a neutron star or a black hole depending on the mass of Betelgeuse's core, and it could reveal more information about the physics and chemistry of stellar evolution. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you next time.